to heat the greenhouse with candles. And I have these big candles that you put on the graves and put them underneath the pots to heat the pots. And we cover the top to keep the heat in and the airflow is right at the at ground level by putting a bit of a stone in between. Um, so these, these big ones are almost burnt down, not quite, but they won't last the night. So I have to put new ones in. And of course I make sure that there's no plastic or paper anywhere around. And I'm also going to extinguish the other two, just in case. We shouldn't have a mouse or a rat problem in here, but you never know. And you don't want them falling over. And I have these small ones here, for some reason. This. Maybe it didn't get enough air, which is my... Same with this one. Just have to make sure that um, there's enough airflow at the bottom of the pot so they get enough oxygen. There we go. Now let's just take a look at what's left in here. The cauliflower obviously didn't much like the cold. We had, as I said, uh, probably about minus 10 outside. So in here, I'm guessing minus four, minus five, possibly less. Um, I'll check that in a moment because we have thermometers, digital thermometers that'll tell me. The salads are looking okay. And, um, yeah, this, this is stinging nettles belonging to my daughter. I have to leave them in the greenhouse to survive the winter because we actually don't have very many in the garden and she really wants more of them for her herbal remedies. Mm -hmm. 